No, in the sense you can't eat the waste directly because, for example, we're looking at peels and we're looking at uh, spent roots, which are not really suitable on their own for human consumption. But the answer is yes, because what we can do is we can turn that waste into something that can be consumed by people and a product that is safe and nutritious. And one of the examples in this project, of course, is mushrooms. Basically, you have your cassava waste. It can be cassava peels or cassava sticks or the, both of them combined. And then you ferment it for 28 days. You can just pour it out and sprinkle a little bit of water on it to ease the fermentation process. Then you bag it into polypropylene bags that you can sterilize. And then you introduce your spawn into them. Then you take it to your cropping house, you open them and your mushrooms flush. It's like growing a plant from the soil. So in this case, the waste is the soil that we are growing the mushroom from. Basically, that's how it is. It's like planting your seed in the soil, but then in this case, the soil is the waste.